Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley, and today we are doing a power hour. Typically during power hours, I start in my kitchen, but today I really wanted to tackle our three bathrooms. The master bathroom and the kids' bathroom were filthy, so I really wanted to tackle those, and of course the guest bathroom as well. So that is what we are gonna do today. You're gonna have to stay tuned to see if I am able to get to all three bathrooms within the hour. But if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I would love to have you here. And turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my uploads every Monday and Friday at 9 a.m. Central. And sometimes I throw in a bonus video like today. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's jump into all this cleaning motivation. We are starting off in my master bathroom. I needed to get all of the dirty clothes picked up and put into the laundry room and then clear off my counters. And I know you guys can notice my tag on my shirt. Oh my goodness. So I order the Stitch Fix boxes. If you guys haven't heard of them, they are a subscription box where you get a stylist and they send you clothes specifically for your taste and style. And I had just got my box in and I was so excited. I was trying on the shirt and I knew I was gonna keep this one. So I kept the shirt on and I completely forgot to take off the tag, but I do end up taking it off a couple minutes into the video. That is when I realized it was on there. So sorry, you guys, you'll have to deal with my tag dangling on my back for just a few minutes, but I could not believe I forgot to take the tag off. To clean my master bathroom, I will be using the Method Foaming Tub and Tile Spray by Method. It is in the eucalyptus scent and I do really enjoy this scent. I just don't like how it sprays. It just doesn't spray that well, but it works super good at getting my counters clean. And after I get done cleaning off my counters, we are gonna be tackling my nasty sink that I just showed you guys. I have been dealing with a clogged up sink for a couple weeks now. And when we have moved into this house, I threw away my old snake because it was really gross. And so I finally remembered to pick one up so I could get this drain cleaned out. So in just a second, I will show you guys how I easily clean the clogs out of my drain. This snake is by far the best one that I have used. I have bought some cheaper ones before. They are plastic and they have like little hooks on them. It works really well, but I find that one makes a lot more of a mess. This one is much more sturdier and easier to stick in there and pull out. It did a great job. I just had to push it in there a couple times and it cleared out the clog that was in there. I think it was just hair buildup, but this is so disgusting, but it does the job so quick. So if you guys are suffering with a clog, definitely give a snake a try. I will link this one if I can find it on Amazon, but I did pick this one up at Walmart. Yo, I was looking for my Juliet And as soon as I left, I told my friends 
What are you guys doing while watching? Are you getting some motivation to tackle something for the day? Or are you cleaning along with me? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you guys are looking for some more cleaning motivation, I am gonna link my playlist with all of my power hours in it. That way, if you guys wanna check it out or just put me on while you clean, you can have hours of cleaning motivation. As long as we had each other, oh, everything was black and white. When we were younger. Now I am using my Method Glass Surface Cleaner in the mint scent. I am almost out of this and I have been having a time trying to find it. Every time I go to Target, I keep checking, but I cannot find my favorite glass cleaner. I might have to order some more from Grove if I cannot find it in my stores. Have you guys been struggling trying to find cleaning products still? For the most part, I can find what I'm looking for, but when I want something specific, that's when sometimes I can't seem to find it, but they always have Windex, so worst case scenario, I will just have to pick up some Windex. Now we are moving to my bathtub because I was starting to get a ring in the tub, and I have showed you guys this before. I love using this Lysol toilet bowl cleaner, for my bathtub, it does an excellent job at getting scum out. So if you guys have been struggling with hard water stains or scum in your tub or shower, give the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner a try. I know it sounds a little strange to use it in your bathtub, but I promise it gets the job done and it gets it out so quick so you don't have to sit there scrubbing for forever. I love this stuff. So after I get done just squirting it directly on my towel and rubbing the scum off of the tub, I go in with my method cleaner just to give it a good wipe down and be sure that I clean it out so when I take a bath I am not sitting in all those harsh chemicals. I prefer using the Clorox wipes when I clean the toilets just to disinfect the handle and to really clean it super well. So that is just what I prefer. Of course, unless you cannot find the Clorox wipes, then I'll just use whatever cleaning product I have on hand. But I am being sure to give it a good wipe down, especially right now. It is starting to get pretty cold outside. As you guys saw, we just had our first thing of snow, which is not very common here in West Texas. We don't typically get snow that often, so the kids were super excited. They actually got to stay home this day. 
but since it is starting to get cold outside and it's cold and flu season and we have you know what going around, I am taking the time to make sure I disinfect more often than I usually do. So I've really been trying to disinfect, of course, the toilets because those are used so frequently as well as the handles on the doors and light switches. I've just been making a effort to clean them more often what about you guys? Have you guys been cleaning those touched surfaces more than you usually do? I definitely have changed the way I've cleaned since this whole pandemic. Now we are moving on to my kid's bathroom and you guys, it was disgusting. Seriously, toothpaste all over the floor, all over the cabinets. I could not believe how nasty this bathroom was. So I went ahead and picked up the rugs, shook them out. I just washed them. If you guys watched my laundry motivation video, if you missed that, I will link that right here in the cards. But since I went ahead and already washed those, I just shook them out and wanted to sweep the floors because there was a little bit of mulch from the kids' shoes from school. So I just wanted to get the floor cleaned up before putting the rugs back onto the floor. Since I knew I was short on time, I went ahead and used my Lidman mop. I love this thing. Right now, I have a mixture of the Method wood floor cleaner in there with some water. So I just went ahead and gave a good mop just to get the toothpaste off. Look at this towel. I mean, it is filled with toothpaste. I don't understand how they get toothpaste all over the place. It's it's so crazy. Please tell me my kids are not the only ones that have toothpaste literally on every surface of the bathroom. So now we are going to go ahead and clear off this counter so we can give it a really good wipe down. And I definitely needed to go in and wipe all the wood because it was just filthy. In the kids bathroom I am using the scrubbing bubbles I have mentioned this before but I really like to keep each bathroom with their own cleaning supplies just so when I am cleaning I am not running all over the house trying to find cleaning products so I always keep a specific cleaning product in each bathroom and I find by keeping each bathroom with their own cleaning products it just makes cleaning a little bit faster and it makes me more likely to clean it more often because I know they're conveniently in there. So if I walk in and notice something, I can just pull the cleaning product out and tackle the mess. I had 14 and a half minutes left and Ethan woke up from his nap so I quickly paused it so I could change his diaper and get him a snack and then we were getting right back to it. I knew I was running low on time and I still needed to clean the kids bathtub as well and then my guest bathroom so now I am putting it into high gear and trying to see if I can get to the other bathroom before my 14 minutes are up.
patience, I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I want I finally remembered to pick up my Mr. Clean Magic Erasers last time I went to the store. So these definitely come in handy when I wanna clean all the marks off of the cabinets and stuff, especially those tough stains that are hard to scrub off. The Magic Eraser does an amazing job at taking those marks off really quick. So I'm going in to get all the toothpaste off of the cabinets. And then once I get everything off of the cabinets, I'm gonna go in with my wood cleaner and spray them down just to give them a good polish. And as you guys can see, Ethan pulling on that handle, the kids ended up stripping the screw in the handle and now I cannot get the screw to stay in. So I need to find a way to fix that before they end up stripping the other screw and then the handle won't be able to stay on at all. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I can fix that, please let me know down in the comments below. I was kind of thinking about putting some sort of putty or glue inside of the handle to hold the screw, but I'm not sure if that would even work. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. Set up a stage of lights Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we connect Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you keep cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves We should be good but we keep lighting fires Scrubbing all of the toothpaste off of the cabinets took me a lot longer than I thought. There was so much on there. So now I am quickly trying to get this bathtub done. But as you guys will see, I end up running out of time halfway through cleaning the bathtub, but that is okay. I mainly wanted to get to the kids' bathroom and the master bathroom, so I was really pleased that I got those two bathrooms done in an hour because, like I said, they were both so disgusting, so I knew it was going to take me a while to get those cleaned up. Even though my hour was up, at least I accomplished those two bathrooms and I just went ahead and cleaned the guest bathroom because that needed to be done and I decided to record that for you guys. So stay tuned to see me clean the last and final bathroom.
Every time I clean this bathroom, I always change out my wax melt and my Scentsy warmer. And this time I am doing apple cherry and this one just smells so delicious. I love baked good smells. And if you guys haven't tried Scentsy products, check my link down below. My sister does sell it and I love it so much. They even have a all purpose spray that is amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It does help support my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my uploads every Monday and Friday at 9 a.m. Central. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.